congratulations on the film. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, when you see a film called Silent Night and then you see the film, yeah. it's it's to the polar opposite to what you <laughs> expect. Well, the rest is silence. The rest is it does, Hamlet. So. It does indeed. <laughs> That's very, very good. I like that. Tell me about uh, being drawn to this one. It's a very, very different sort of Christmas movie, but it has a lot, yeah. to, lot to say about a lot of important things. I mean... Yeah, it does. It does. And that's not to shrug it off. But I think in terms of my participation in it, when um, Camille came to me, I was, it was who she had put together, you know, like this wonderful cast, you know, Kira, Matthew, Rufus, Lucy. And I was just like, oh, I get to be, I get to play with these people. That's going to be excellent. Um, so I did have to read the script and Camille did have to like um, tape me for it. But I was, I was on board from the off, you know. And it's a fantastic cast, as you say, but uh, Roman at the top of it. I mean, everyone saw Jojo Rabbit and just yeah. how phenomenal he was. What was it like to work with him? And can you see why people are so drawn to him, even at such a young age? Absolutely. And I mean, I saw Jojo as well and fell in love with him. So, like, to get to meet him, I was just like, I was a little bit starstruck when I was on set with him. I was just like, oh, this is Roman, you know, I get to work with Roman. So that was wicked. Um, but what I really loved about him was how hard he worked, you know, how much he cared. I, when I was his age, yeah, it was fun. It was a bit of fun, but I didn't like, you know, I wasn't trying that hard. Whereas you can see that his heart's really in it. Mm. And that's why he's able to turn out such great performances. So nuanced, he's always taking direction. And I know it was his mum this time, <laughs> but um, but I was really proud of him. Like every day I was on set with Roman, I was just like, this kid's really got something. Yeah. In terms of uh, Christmas films in your household, do you have a favorite Christmas film? And there is a correct answer, I will say. Is it Die Hard? Uh, it's a correct answer. Yeah, you stop me with that one. <laughs> it's not a Christmas movie, but it is a Christmas movie, come oh, on. Definitely a Christmas movie, you know? <laughs> I mean, I loved Home Alone growing up because it was like, the slapstick comedy was excellent yeah. and it was really a movie of my time, but I mean, I went on to do Gangs of London, right? So Die Hard must have had something to do <laughs> with my development. Indeed. And just finally, before you go, on Gangs of London, yeah. season two coming out very soon, how excited was it to, to go back and what can audience expect from that? You know what? I think the excitement really came from the audience engagement. Like, we didn't know how our audience was going to respond to the material that we made. We were really proud of it. But to get that feedback really did like infuse and sort of like fuel us for a second season. So we're hoping to come back with something that's like as good, if not better. Like there's some action sequences in it that I'm really excited to share. Um, and I'm hoping that we get the same sort of engagement because yeah. we were, I guess we were kind of fortunate as fortunate as anyone can be because of the global pandemic that people were at home to watch it yeah and that's not going to be the case again so hopefully like we did our jobs we laid the foundations for people to come back and enjoy themselves this time Fantastic. thank you so much for your time absolute pleasure have a good evening thank you so much Jess. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh is that from the goonies nice hey you guys